This is supposedly going to be a big year for ET disclosure, right? What does our government know? What have they been working on? Who have they been working with, right? Congress, I think, has directed that information be released by later this year. And we know, of course, it's going to be redacted and it's going to be limited in as many ways as it can. But in this video, I want to talk about um, what they're referring to in terms of disclosure and ETs and life elsewhere in the Galactic Federation and the two different perspectives we have, one from the human and one from the perspective of our multidimensional selves with consciousness. And what does this all truly mean? How it manifests into this reality, how we see it, and how the higher dimensional beings are experiencing all of this happening as well. So fascinating information to come. Make sure you stick around all the way to the end. We just talked about this in my new you program the other day. I wanted to lean into this now and bring it to a video for you guys. So we're looking in terms of a human perspective when we're talking about ETs, when we're talking about aliens, when we're talking about other beings, we're not alone as humans, right? We are living from a human perspective. When we talk about disclosure, what's happening is humanity is being gradually um, awakened to the fact that we are not alone. So we have that human perspective there, right? We feel isolated. We feel isolated in terms of our humanness within just humanity and other people and other beings. When we're isolated, we feel separate, we feel cut off, and we feel that sense of loneliness, right? So from a collective level, we're feeling a sense of isolation and a sense of loneliness from whatever else is out there, right? Humanity really doesn't know what's out there. Everything's been kept secret as the planet descended. Now, centuries ago, eons ago, this was all common knowledge. The the Galactics, Federation, ETs, however you want to phrase that, was just part of the reality. Humans were living from a higher state of consciousness, therefore there was a higher reality being experienced, and that was just normal. But as the planet descended, we became more separate. Fear put us into this fight or flight, separation, isolation, loneliness, kind of like a prison planet you could think of, right? Um, and that cut us off from whatever else was out there. Now, from a consciousness perspective, that whatever else was out there is really your higher self, your multidimensional aspects. And these beings, from the perspective of consciousness, represent just that. They are your higher dimensional aspects. They are coming in. It is consciousness. Think of branches on a tree. As the branch comes off, it, there's more branches that feed off of that into individual leaves. So we are the individual leaves. We're connected to a branch that's connected to a trunk, right? That is connected to all the rest of the, the parts of the tree. So that would be the entire known reality, right? The oneness, right? No separation there. It only appears that we're separate when you look at the individual leaves. So when you look at humanity versus every, everything else out there, we appear as though we are separate. We are labeling ourselves. And that is just purely a function of the dimensional field that we are residing in. As you drop down, as consciousness comes and filters through these dimensional fields and they start to become more dense, we begin to feel or experience more separateness, more loneliness, more isolation. We forget that we are source, that we are connected to everything. So being that we're connected to everything, how can our ET friends be anything different than us, right? They're just us residing in higher dimensional fields. Now, that being said, from the higher dimensional field level of consciousness, say fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and higher dimensional fields, things are moving at a much faster rate, right? They're far less dense. There's far less physicality to it. But as that energy moves down closer to our field, it starts to develop into or cohere, coalesce into more dense states of being, more matter, less energetic, okay? And as it continues to move down those fields, it starts to interact with our dimensional field and our reality. So we start to see craft, we start to see energy anomalies, we start to see these strange things that were previously out of our 
perception. We were not aware of them because as a collective, we were focused solely on the 3D bandwidth. As we're moving up through the fourth dimensional field, we start to navigate through these denser energies. They may manifest as fear and isolation and those types of things, right? It starts to open up into a reality where these beings, which is really consciousness, higher frequency energy, can are, are hanging out in, okay? So they're coming down closer to our field. As we move up in our field, we start to be able to experience them. Now, consciousness, as it moves down through these dimensional fields, because it's all consciousness, it manifests in certain ways, okay? So from the human's perspective, we experience these ideas as we're looking out into space of ETs and of other beings in life on other planets, that's how we perceive it. Those are the belief systems that we're holding. So therefore consciousness moves down into our field and it manifests that way. Now, these higher dimensional beings are playing their part in assisting us in this ascension process. So they gladly step into these roles and play the roles of these higher dimensional beings. Okay, so that we can have these experiences as our consciousness expands, right? We go from isolation, only human, to other beings out there in the universe. So we call in this energy to be able to fill their roles in our expansion. And they are here to fully support us, and they are here to do that. But from the highest perspective, we know that we are all connected. These higher dimensional beings are simply aspects of us coming in, interacting with us, and helping us to remember that we are all connected. So when it comes to disclosure, we're looking at it from the perspective of the human, right? There's not just us, there's other beings out there in space, right? We're focused into a time-space reality. So there's other beings out there at a distance in space. And now they're coming, moving through space, moving through time, into our perspective, our perception. So we're starting to be able to perceive them. So as we continue to rise in frequency, they will become more visible to us. They're already coming into our field more to assist us in not only gauging where the collective frequency is at, but kind of desensitizing us and helping us work through the fears of what else is out there. Okay, so they're playing that role, but subconsciously, we are being guided by our higher selves for, to put all of this in play, for all of this to happen. This is just simply um, an ascension process unfolding right in your experience. Okay, so when we think of higher dimensional beings, they're going to appear when we rise and raise our vibration, right? When our frequency rises, we're going to naturally be able to start to perceive these beings. But the important thing you need to remember is that these beings are aspects of you, okay? There's a lot of fear that we have subconsciously because I think a lot of these beings were uh, utilized from the darker energies, from the collective, to keep humanity at a lower vibratory rate, at a lower dimensional field. So in those low dimensional fields, as this consciousness, this energy, came down and became more dense, it manifested as um, maybe we would call them evil types of entities and things like that. You may have heard of reptilians and greys and these types of things, right? So we're interacting with beings out of the state of consciousness that we were at and they manifested. Now again, consciousness came in to fill the role to help us move through that energy by having these experiences. So as humanity continues to rise collectively, the planet continues to shed all of its density, all of those dark beings that came down into that dense bandwidth to help us ascend are going to return to their light. They're going to lift out of that field and reside somewhere else up here. And humanity is going to continue to rise as well into those fields. So these, this consciousness, these beings, this energy is going to manifest in many different ways. Whatever we call them into to be, whatever we ask them to do to serve us, 
to assist us as we shed the weight of the dense energy, we navigate the fears and heal the fears, heal the anxieties, heal the stresses, heal all the things that kept the planet at a very low frequency for so, so long, they will come in and interact with us through those dimensional field lenses of wherever we're at so that we can navigate all of those emotional states and transmute all of that energy, okay? So it's important to hold a state of neutrality, okay? You may experience fear. You may experience elation. It's gonna be based on what you've been taught, what you believe, what experiences you've had. This is energy that needs to be brought to the surface, but know that whatever comes forward from this point on is going to really, it's, it's a reflection of the energy that you are entertaining, the stories that you are believing, your limiting beliefs, what you are holding and what you are ready to let go of. When I first, uh, the, the Federation actually came in to me when I was on a Friday morning, I was upstairs in my family room and they appeared. Okay, they appeared. They appeared as beams of light. Um, so I got to interact with them and I had and still do connect with them. Okay, and they brought in my Pleiadian guide. Before that, I had connected with an Arcturian, with a reptilian, um, there were greys. So all sorts of these ET beings, but I had some subconscious fear and the Federation actually came in and helped me move past that. And I had an experience with three dark beings in the middle of the night, which I recognized was the energy of the ETs moving through me being filtered into an experience. So they manifested as an experience to help me experience that fear and alchemize it and move through it, which is exactly what I did. So that takes awareness. So when you're feeling fear, know that you are being shown something because something is ready to up level or level up within you, right? You are ready to take another step in consciousness, in an expansion, and the fear is simply showing you what is in the way. So that's exactly what I did. I regathered myself during this experience. I felt it, I sat with it, and the next morning I connected with my guide and he sure enough validated and explained to me exactly what was happening. So um, as this energy continues to come into our field, it's going to hold space for us to release all of these things that tied us to these old timelines, these timelines that no longer serve us, these timelines based on fear and control. And a lot of the dense, dark ETs that I hear talked about out there a lot are a function of those old timelines, okay? So we, it's an opportunity to regain your sovereignty, to regain your power, to reconnect with your heart, to alchemize that fear, take control back, and elevate your consciousness. Once you do that, you will no longer have those dense, dark experiences. They are just being called in by you to help you become whole. And you become whole by feeling all of these aspects of you that were anchoring you to a low frequency timeline. It's no different with be it ETs, be it angels and demons, be it political stuff, be it uh, viruses, whatever it is, it's all the same. These things are coming forward to show you something about yourself. So as disclosure unfolds, and it's going to continue to unfold, I want you to remember, remain aware that what you are hearing is from the human perspective. It is from that perspective of separation. Here's us. Here's them. Do they represent a threat? Do they represent an advancement in technology? What is it? We have to sort all of this out so that it fits in a neat little box. That's the ego trying to um, create solutions to perceive problems. And the problems are the problems that you're told are problems, right? So you can let go of those things. Know that this is just what it looks like as we move up through these dimensional fields as consciousness, more consciousness, higher frequency energy grounds into this planet and into your body and all of that dark dense energy is coming up to be experienced so do just that experience it watch this disclosure as it continues to happen watch it unfold know 
that you're seeing it from the perspective, it's being reflected to you from the perspective of the human, that is a great opportunity for you to rise and shift your perspective to a much a one that's of a much higher frequency, higher consciousness, and know that everything is being played out for this process to continue. Okay, and you're an active participant in it. Keep your frequency high and amazing things are gonna start to happen. If this video resonated with you, watch this one next. Thank you so much.